experts from the University of the Philippines were all ears during President Duterte's fifth sauna. But they say it fell short of what the public really needs to hear. Marian Enriquez tells us more. While the chief executive's speech was nothing short of his past themes on drugs, crimes, and the country's ties with China, researchers say it lacked what the public really needed to hear, the government's COVID-19 recovery plan. Political analyst and UP Okta research team member Ranjit Rai says the president could have discussed the pandemic response more. He didn't talk about it in detail. I wish he had talked about uh, more about uh, how, how much more money would be given to the poor, uh, to uh, medium scale, uh, micro and medium scale enterprises. Mathematics professor and another UP Octa team member, Guido David, said the speech was left wanting when it comes to randomized testing. Because I always mention uh, the number of asymptomatics is underreported because we don't get to check asymptomatics. Usually, you might in the test not in those who show symptoms. So, what about those without symptoms? UP experts predict that the country could hit 90,000 cases by the end of July and 140,000 cases by end August. In his fifth sauna, President Duterte flaunted the country's increased testing capacity despite facing difficulties at first. He said the country now has 93 accredited testing laboratories nationwide, aiming to conduct 1.4 million tests by end of July. Still, the UP researchers welcomed President Duterte's remark urging the Congress to pass a law instituting the National Disease Prevention and Management Authority. This would be similar to the United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Both Rai and David expressed hope that the administration would assure the public of protection in the time of pandemic. Para sa ating mga kababayan na nahihirapan, marami nahihirapan, marami trabaho, Dahil sa, dahil sa pandemya na to, gusto nilang concrete solusyon eh, sa mga talagang, sa, sa trahedya nangyayari sa kailang buhay. 